Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be talking about, you guessed it, Six of Crows, my favorite book right now. So to kick us off, I'm just going to be briefly talking about it, giving a sort of summary, that way anyone who hasn't read it can get an idea of what it's about, and then I'll move on to the part that contains spoilers, that way people can click away from it. This is a book by Lee Bardugo. It is part of the Grishaverse, but you do not have to read the Grishaverse trilogy before you read this, it does stand alone. The Grishaverse trilogy includes the books Smoke and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Ruin and Rising. And here's the synopsis of the book. Ketterdam, a bustling hub of international trade where anything can be had for the right price. And no one knows that better than criminal prodigy Kaz Brecker. Kaz is offered a chance at a deadly heist that can make him rich behind his wildest dreams, but he can't pull it off alone. A convict with a thirst for revenge, a sharpshooter who can't walk away from a wager, a runaway with a privileged past, a spy known as the Wraith, a heart render using her magic to survive the slums, and a thief with a gift for unlikely escapes. Kaz's crew are the only ones who might stand between the world and destruction if they don't kill each other first. My basic thoughts on this, as you all know, are it's a five out of five stars. Absolutely. I love this book so much. I'm so in love with the character. It is, it is very character driven, I will say, but I'm so in love with this book and I can't say enough good things about it, but I will get more into it because I can't say much without giving things away. So I'll move into that when we get to the spoiler section. Six of Crows is part of a duology, but I have heard that there is a third book in the works. I am ecstatic because I'm so in love with this world. The second book in the duology is Crooked Kingdom, and I am just dying to get it. King of Scars is also part of this world, and I'm dying to pick that book up as well. Six of Crows is not necessarily a book I would have picked up on my own. I actually got into it from the Books with Friends book club put on by Books with Chloe and Mr. Common Spence on booktube and I'm so glad that they recommended it and talked about it for their Books with Friends Club or else I would have never found it, never would have picked it up. Definitely isn't my type of story I would say that I thought I liked but now this has opened and introduced me to a whole realm and genre of books that I didn't even know I loved and it really has expanded my views on reading and my views on how a book should be and I'm so grateful for that. Now if you haven't read the book go ahead and click away because I'm going to be talking spoilers now. I don't want to give away anything to anyone that hasn't read it because it's honestly more fun to go into this not really knowing much about it. So go ahead click 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 away get away shoo shoo shoo. Are you gone? Are you gone? Okay good. All right let's talk spoilers so i'm basically just going to be talking about how i feel about the characters and things that happen to the characters just because it is such a character driven book and it's really all i get so excited about about this book it's the reason i read it it's the reason i fell in love with it and yeah let's get into them first of all these characters are way younger than I read them to be. And I think that's just a general consensus from everyone. These characters are so much younger than they act, so much younger than they've lived their lives, and they are wise beyond their years. And it was so hard to like read something they would do and then be like, and she's only 16. And I'm like, what? I'm over 16 and the hardest thing I've had to deal with is what to eat for dinner. And these kids are out here fighting people, slicing out eyeballs and throwing people over boats and just climbing up incinerators. Like, what are these kids doing? Kind of gives me like Scooby-Doo vibes with these kids running around. Not really, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so first of all, Kaz, he's the head of the crew and he is, he's something, let me tell you. I am constantly in shock by his preparedness for any situation that could happen like the scene with the second boat available because he just knew something was gonna go wrong so he had the boat available ready to go up like five blocks up the harbor or whatever like who plans for that 
I don't know, man. Let's talk about Kaz's backstory. I was in shock when Pekka was in works with a bank and like left Jordy and Kaz out to pretty much die, fend for themselves. Who does that to children? These people are hurting me. Ugh, stupid Pekka. I hope Kaz gets him back in Crooked Kingdom. We'll see, we'll see. So him and Jordy, what a pairing. I wish Jordy was secretly alive somehow or somehow the Grisha's on Judah Parim could like bring him back to life because what a story that would be, right? Then we've got Inej, our Wraith. I love Inej. I love the fact that she turned her acrobat skills into spy skills. Like, wow. It, like, picturing Zendaya as the Wraith because she was an acrobat in Greatest Showman and I don't know where I'm going with this, but let's move on. That scene in the incinerator. Holy cannoli. I was not, my heart couldn't take it. I... Oh, the part with her shoes melting and she wanted to give up and she was saying to her dad that she was ready to fall and oh, it broke my heart and I was just so happy to see her come up out of it and really push through that weakness. And then we have Nina. Nina is my favorite character in this series. I love that she loves food. Like, I feel like Nina and I would be best friends between eating waffles and singing horribly. So Nina better make it through or I'm gonna be throwing hands, you know? I'm very intimidating. Let's go. <laughs> I love Nina and Inej's friendship. It is so pure and wholesome in the scene where they're singing badly together and they make fun of each other, but they really push each other in a great way and I would I want to see more of that that friendship and I know a lot of people their favorite characters in it and Inej doesn't like Matthias so people who like Inej might not necessarily like Matthias but because I like Nina she's my favorite she loves Matthias so maybe that's why I have a greater respect and love for him I know a lot of people write him off and it kind of bothers me how many people write him off as just like the white boy of the crew and yes that is it but his character development and his struggles are just as important and valuable to this book as everyone else's i think in today's society we really need to see characters like matthias who aren't necessarily raised in the best circumstances or the right mindset they're taught to hate and be violent or judgmental and I see that a lot in today's society. So I think seeing his character development and slowly learning that's what's wrong and choosing to fight and rebel and ultimately to respect and to protect other people unlike what he was raised is such an important storyline in today's world. And I really wish people wouldn't write him off I know it's easy too just because he's not as diverse and he's not as exciting and not as friendly like I was scared of him when I first when he like first woke up in the prison and started choking out Nina I was like whoa I don't know who this is I don't know if I like him but his growth especially that scene after the crew got attacked by the Grishas and Matthias helped Nina bury the Grisha, I think was the ultimate, like, point of understanding. I've heard he gets better in Crooked Kingdom, we'll see. Jesper, which I've heard is Jasper from the audiobooks, but I'm gonna stay with Jesper until I hear otherwise. <laughs> um, I don't know how I felt about him. I love him and Wylan, but ultimately I wish I gotten more he's more of a comic relief I want to know more about his backstory and being a fabricator because I did not see that coming at all I want to reread the book and try to see if I can find hints of him being a fabricator but I didn't get any any clue to him being a fabricator so that's interesting and then Wylan the crew's hostage you could say i love wyland just because he is kind of the baby of the crew even though they're all babies let's be honest but i love wyland 
I wish we had gotten a chapter in his point of view. So, yeah. So, in order, my f characters from favorite to least favorite would go as this. But, as a disclaimer, I love all these characters. It's really hard for me to order them. Because after Nina, they're kind of all in order, I guess. But it would go Nina, Inej, Kaz, Matthias, Je Wylan, and then Jesper. My favorite part... Oh, I don't even know. I love the part where Kaz is carrying Inej across the boat, pushing people out of the way, trying to get her help, even though it probably brings back horrible memories for him. His love for her is just like pouring out of him and he doesn't even know it. And oh, I love Kaz and Inej and I love Nina and Matthias and I love Wylan and Jasper and they're all so great. And I wish I could just join their crew and be part of this family. And like, I don't want to be part of the world because that's kind of scary, but oh. Why can't I be best friends with Nina? Can we just talk about the first chapter? Who's Juiced? I thought he was part of the story. He's just setting up the Ju Judah Param. All right. He was cool. I really like Danya. I wish she was part of it, but that's what I want to see. In Crooked Kingdom, I want to see Anya. That'd be cool. I think in Crooked Kingdom, the things that I would really like to see are Anya from the first chapter. We don't really see much of her after... The first chapter, I'm guessing she just died because that's what else, that's what happens to every other Grisha on Judah Param. And then I would really love to see a Wylan point of view. I want to see more Matthias. Mina better live. And I kind of would love to see Inej save herself and like Kaz do this whole heist and like Inej meets them halfway and is like, guys, I'm like free. What's going on? Like come on let's get out of here and she just saves herself because I think that's a very niche thing to do but the whole thing is like built around Kaz's mastermind ways so I don't think that's gonna happen even though it'd be really cool so that was my thoughts on Six of Crows I hope you enjoyed it let me know what you thought of Six of Crows who your favorite characters were what your favorite scene was down below and I will see you in my next video thanks for watching bye I have been made to protect you. Only in death will I be kept from this oath. My heart. <laughs>